Just like in an airplane, there are so many things to check before you take off in an RV. Sharon, could you explain your system to us? Absolutely. This is a hands-on checklist that is alphabetically listed. All the things that we discovered when we first got our RV needed to be checked during the course of our adventures. So I have, is the awning out or is it in? I have the battery, is it on or off? So if it's on, it's red, that means you have to pay attention to it. It's up in the air, you have to pay attention to it. When it's off, you can put it down. It's blue, it's cool, you don't have to think about it. The coating, color coating of the yellow means it's an outdoor thing, so you have to not only know whether it's in or out, but you have to know that you have to go outside and, and get it. So the parking guides that help us stay at the level place on the, on the camping site, if they're out, which they are, so this should be up. Our battery is on because our lights are on, that should be up. And when we leave, those should all be down because everything should be turned off. Now, how did you attach this? These are clothespins, clip-on clothespins. How did you attach? So they sell these dish drainers that are the series of metal tubes that are held together with silicone. I cut them apart and I attached the silicone to my wood on my, on my RV with a product called Sugru, S-U-G-R-U. And it is essentially a moldable glue that will cure to a silicone-like substance. So it'll be flexible and it's very sturdy and it won't let go in the intense heat that we find inside the RV when it's, not, when it's closed up and not being used. Now, you have to be conscientious and turning this up when you turn something on, but what a great visual reminder when you leave to make sure you've got everything off before you take off. Yep, it really has helped us not leave things behind and not have the vent lid open, for instance, when we're going down the road. Now, did you learn this the hard way? Did you come up with this because you forgot to close the vent lid? I once or twice. did forget to close the vent lid once, but I also saw a number of, of nightmare stories on the internet where somebody's driving down the road and the sewer hose is, oh. is attached oh. to them. So I was like, I don't want to be that. <laughs> oh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That's right. <laughs>